did an empty house tour. Not for any old house. It's for our house, honey, that we're moving into on Thursday. We are currently on the motorway, so sorry if it's a bit loud and noisy right now. Connor's car is actually unbelievably loud. I think something's wrong with it. Connor, is that you being dramatic though? No, that's what Jordan said. Right, so yeah, we're on the way to Ikea this afternoon. We are a bit mad actually because it is, uh, hang on a minute. It's late. 20 to three and, oh, look at that. Hang on, I'm just gonna let you get a glimpse of my highlighter today. Thank you, sir, for doing your job. It's 20 to three in the afternoon on a Saturday, so we're pretty crazy, but we're heading to Ikea. Because are you actually really moving house if you don't go to Ikea? The answer is no. I you might need actually to go get to Ikea. Spoon. I've never, had, I've never had the Ikea oh, meatballs. Oh, come on, the Ikea meatballs I've never are something had, never special. Never had them, darling. They're really great. That way. You don't often come to Ikea with me, do you? Uh, this might be the first time. It's not the first. I, I think Eddie, it is. I was here literally a couple of months ago, yeah. Not for a new house. And if I've been here with you when we moved into our last house. No, you didn't. I did only. We went around. Hands on the steering wheel. We, we went around there, I know. Yeah, so that's the plan today. We're actually going to Ikea for a specific reason. We're going um, to find wardrobes, basically. We've actually ordered, well, I've actually ordered lots of furniture for the new house. But there are certain rooms in the new house that... Oh, we can also get desk chairs today for the warehouse. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, certain things that we've just wanted to wait to go to Ikea to get, which is um, we're going to make our own Pax wardrobes, inspired by my sis, Lucy Jessica Carter, the Pax wardrobe queen. So, um, yeah, we want to get a few bits for the warehouse and just have a look around, really, because I just feel like Ikea... It's just a great place to go yeah, for moving we, house. We need to go to make sure that we've crossed it off. Yeah. Because you don't want to move it and be like, oh, we got we have, that. Yeah, could we have got that from Ikea? Yeah. So that's the plan today. We've still not started uh, packing up the house yet, which is quite scary, really. We've not organised moving men to come yet, and it's in four days' time. So, needless to say, we're not feeling very organised. Tomorrow's on red, which is great because that's a really great way to start a vlog and I'm sure this clip is very, very noisy so I'll check in with you guys when we get to Ikea. Love you guys. How exciting that we've got the moving vlog. Oh my god, subscribe for more moving vlogs. Oh yeah, Ikea. Here we go. What we got in the trolley? You've already got something. First thing we something special. First thing we get is something for Herbie. Connor, what is that over there? Scents, lavender and wood. Cinnamon card, what's that? Oh, it doesn't even smell of anything. Is there supposed to be a candle in that? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be like that, look. Oh, why aren't any of them in there, Con? Look what we got for Herbie. Oh, he's gonna love it so much. They had a snake, a tiger, a lion, a shark, a panda, or an elephant. We went for an elephant. We are whizzing through quite fast, actually. We're already at the TV unit section. If you know the Bristol Ikea, you know that this is quite far on. Um, but listen, we're two people on a mission, okay? We just want to get to these wardrobes. Although, love that kitchen. I've always loved this kitchen. It's very homely to me. Look at it. I just literally think it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I guess that is what I'll be like, quite similar. Oh, here we go then. Bit of panelling. Oh, look at that fireplace. Oh, angels. I can't wait to get our fireplace. Honestly, I'm telling you right now. We are getting a fireplace. We are, guys. We've literally been to go and see a stonemason about it and everything, so don't even listen to Connor. Wow, listen, you guys know me. I'm not really a dark paint lover, but this is a cool room, I do have to admit. OMG, I love these con. Oh, we need to get curtain rods. Do you know, Angels, one thing we don't have in our new house is curtain rods. How crazy is that? I know. I literally love this. This is very white company-esque. What do you think of that, Con? A little floating Cute. shelf for my mugs. My Christmas Where would mugs. Why are two in the kitchen when it go? Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe next to the fridge? What? Con, listen, I'd create window. my own space. There's lots of um, under construction scenes in this IKEA. 
just throwing me off a little, you know. Is that? Yeah. Connor, I've seen about five. You have. I have. Build your own drawer inserts, which is something Connor has been so looking forward to doing. And I know that sounds sarcastic, but I'm actually not. Con is blown away by our big drawers, aren't you? In our yeah, new house. Oh, okay. It gives you a template. Go, Con. No, come on. We can have nicer ones than that. That's yeah, swinging. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What about these? At least make them white, babe. Connor, oh my god, you don't stick to stuff for very long, do you? That All you want to do is push. Than that, what did you just say? Repeat that to the angels. That with you for long enough, I know. Oh man. my gosh, I don't know how I go. cope. I oh, I love that gold really one. Nice. Is that gold tap not I a vibe? You spoke. don't. No, you don't. I, you literally just said that because you I like that it. And installed it. I'll just rip it out. No, you wouldn't though, would you? I love Connor. Fence. Stop trying to throw it over the fence because that's not what you're gonna do. Love it. It's like that. The gold color is a vibe. Uh, no, it's Connor. That's like. Bristol University student tap. Yeah, Come on. Like, oh my god, Connor, it's called an interior vibe. Hello everybody. Just checking in from the pack storage plum station. Um I've just designed my dream wardrobe. Yes, Connor, we've just designed. We had help from a lovely, lovely uh, member of the staff that was very kind and spoke to through it. So let me just show you. Oh my god, oh my god, no wait, because you would have seen the empty house store now, so you know what I'm talking about. So, okay, this is going to be the wardrobe room. So if you guys remember, this is, hmm, I don't know how to explain it to you, it's just one of the spare bedrooms, so I'd say it's like the smallest spare room. So this is the room layout, and this is what we are thinking of going for, for the wardrobe space. So the door is here, and there's this really awkward gap here. Um, which wouldn't fit my dressing table or a Hollywood mirror. So I think we're just gonna have to put another wardrobe there and then maybe try and put my Hollywood mirror like somewhere around here next to the door if it'll fit. If not, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to be getting ready in the morning. So yeah, we're thinking of having a wardrobe here. Um, if not, we'll have a chest of drawers, but then we've designed these ones here. So we're gonna have like a big mirror space here and then we're having panelled doors either side, obviously. Oh wow, here they go. Wow, they're all open. Okay, so we haven't designed this one inside because we don't know if we're gonna go for a chest of drawers or not, but this is the setup. So we're gonna have, obviously, clothes rails, lights, drawers under here with a nice glass shelf, and then you've got a pull-out shoe rack there as well. And that's the wardrobe room. Con, how do you feel about that? I think these wardrobes are the best wardrobes we could have yeah. ever. Designed it's half of the world. It's oh, an yeah. external company. It's not like come back. Ellie, please come back. You can't leave me here. So Angels, we are having a little pit stop. Battery's on red, so hopefully it doesn't go. But we're halfway through IKEA. We've picked our wardrobe. We've nearly picked the chest of drawers. We've got Herbie. They're fantastic elephant. I'm just about to have meatballs from IKEA for the first time in my life. Never had it. I hear very good stuff about it, so hopefully it's nice. Ellie doesn't stop saying that these meatballs are incredible, so... They're a Derby sister. Speciality. Look, you've got peas, my love. Thank you, darling. Let's not get any gravy on our lovely... I'll put that in there so it's safe. There we go. Just doesn't she like treat me well? Dinner. Treat me well, don't you, bub? Treat him well, keep him. Swell. <laughs> I got you a water and I got me a diet Thank coke. you, darling. Actually, I got both of them shared because you know how we like, you like to have a bit of my diet coke and I like to have a bit of water, don't I? Yeah. Should I taste this quickly then? Mm. Go on then. Wow, we look at that. Oh my goodness, Angels, can you believe the camera cut off? As I was tasting As you were literally it. about to say goodbye. And can you believe who's here now? Herbie! Herbie's here. So Herbie's big break on YouTube. Put my slippers on the minute. Oh my God, those bloody slippers. Herbie loves them, don't you, Herb? They're your favourite slippers of Dad's. Are they? That's very Herbie. nice, isn't it? Herbie, we got a treat for you. Do you want to show everybody your new toy? Sure, come sit next to Dad when yeah, Mum gets it. I go sit get down, him. Then. Sit down. Sit. Look at all of these super ugly throws we had to put on um the sofa today because when we left for IKEA, Herbie was very muddy. Let go. Because he'd just been on a nice Stay. long walk. Stay. We knew he'd go straight on the sofa, so we had to put all of those throws down. 
Right, you ready? Hang on a minute. Right, I'm gonna run through everything we picked up from Ikea in just a sec. But before we start, I know that I will never hear the end of it if I don't give this Turby straight away. Hang on. Who's that? Who's that, Abby? Who is that? Is that your new toy? He's a bit big, isn't he? He's a big one, Herbie. Is he your new toy? Bring him in. Show Dad. Go on. Show Dad. Oh, no. where's your toy? You no, where's, where's Eugene Elephant? Eugene the Elephant. Hello. Hello. Oh, Herbie. Let me see him. Oh, hello, Eugene. Hello, Eugene. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello, Eugene. Hello, Ruby. Oh, Herbie, oh, is he talking Hello. to me? Herbie, oh. stop trying to bite me. Oh. Oh, my God. This is how playtime goes every single day in our house. Um. Anyway, let me quickly run through with you guys what we got from Ikea today. Sorry, I feel like... <sighs> This hallway is always a bloody mess because it's always filled with Connor's shoes because he never puts them away. Surely I can't be the only girlfriend in the entire world that always has this dilemma literally every single day of my entire life. Okay, so first of all, starting with this big bin. It's actually a waste bin. Oh, there are our plans for our wardrobe. We decided to order our wardrobes online because... Yes, Herbie. No, Herbie. Look at him, he literally loves inspecting what I've bought in case there's something else in there for him. Like opening bags and presents up, don't you? Ooh, what's that? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a bin that Connor wanted to buy purposefully for the warehouse because he's thinking about getting like boxes like this to put all of the stock in in individual sizes and colours and stuff so it's just a bit more organised. Um, I'm not particularly a fan to be completely honest, I don't think that really looks very nice and I think you'll probably be able to fit like four or five items in there because it's not very big either. And then in here, this big Ikea bag, we have just some curtains, so this is for the living room. Um, as you guys know, I'm working with an interior designer for the new house, and um, these curtains are one that she's recommended, and she literally loves them. She has um, advised me to get them in the living room and the bedroom, and I actually really, really like them. They're called the Vilborg curtains from Ikea. They were £29, I think, for this big size. This is like a really long size um 250 centimeters i'm not sure how it's picking up on camera but it's like a gold beige mm, cream kind of color they're all of like the tones that's in the curtain and it actually looks really gorgeous when it's up um and it's gonna go with all of our furniture and i'm really really excited because yeah they just look fab so i bought two sets of them for the living room because we have two windows David Bailey over here. Then we also bought two more for the bedroom. And then um, I bought two of these. These are sheer curtains and these are the Teresia curtains. Um, they're literally just plain white sheer curtains. Um, and I'm gonna put them behind. Do you know when you like stay at hotels and stuff and then there's like a sheer curtain behind nearest the window and then you've got like a proper curtain on top and you have to draw both back. That's what this is gonna be in our new bedroom. By the way, haven't we literally ordered the coolest bed in the entire world? We haven't told it's the angels. So oh sick. my yeah, god. Have to wait. We're not yeah. Until it's done. It is literally like me and Connor just saw this bed. Well we saw this we saw this like style Design didn't we sort of design and we were like we have to do that in the new house and um it's arriving very soon we found a really really good company i'm very excited about it i literally can't wait that's all we picked up apart from these two little baskets here so first of all i picked up this little one um it's like a wicker basket really cute um believe it or not both of these baskets are going to be holding toilet roll in them this one is going to be going in the toilet in the office warehouse space um because all of the bathroom accessories i have in there are from made.com actually and they are like really cute baby pink uh like a toilet brush and soap dispenser and stuff like that. it's all really really nice i'll show you when we next go there i'll be going there tomorrow um so yeah i'll just let you know but i thought that was just like a really cute basket just to hold toilet roll in i think that's the vibe excuse me herbie 
none of this is toys again for you is that okay and then yeah this one i just love this because this is like i feel like this is almost like a sneak peek of the sort of interior styling that we're going for in the new house um quite very different for me quite like rusticy um modern contemporary but still very classy and just like really classic um anyway not that a wicker basket really says much about that but yeah this is just going to be going in our guest bathroom and this is good. just going to hold like four rolls of toilet roll <sighs> hello i know why what do you want to say because you obviously want to say something to the angels oh yeah, I knew you did. So what's the matter? So yeah, and then tonight, now, um, we're going to have some dinner. I actually bought these really gorgeous pies from the garden centre. I took my mum and Katie to the garden centre this morning because they had a Christmas fair on. Oh my God, Angels, it was actually so cute. If any of you guys are local to um, the Wiltshire area, there's a garden centre in Melksham called Loudon's Garden Centre. I had a really cute Christmas fair on today. They had like cheese meat cakes oh it was just divine and um yeah i bought some bits from that because they have a really cute farm shop there too um i bought some caramelized red onion sausage rolls i bought three of those because they're going to be for our christmas eve party that we're hosting they're absolutely stunning as well i'm just going to literally chop them up and put them on a little wooden board and then i bought these so these are just a couple of different pies and this one is another pie and a quiche. It's a brie and caramelized onion quiche, which I thought would also be nice at the party because you can freeze all of this stuff as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna have some pies. We're gonna watch Strictly Come Dancing and The X Factor. And I'm gonna order the new wardrobes. Um, I actually think that, that was such a good idea going into store and doing that con. What about you? Because we tried to do it online yesterday, didn't we? I mean, we have a bit of a mail. Yeah. Because of the room dimensions, it's a bit weird that you've got like a pokey out bit where well, you guys would have seen. Um, we were struggling. But we got there in the end, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, but the um, staff member was literally so cute and she really helped us out a yeah, lot. So did. Shout out to you, hun. Yeah, so if any of you guys are thinking about getting new wardrobes, I definitely recommend the PAX wardrobes. I'm going to order them online now um, and go into Ikea to get a little bit of help from somebody that works there because it just is so worth it. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. Should we show the angels your paw? Why are you so excited? <laughs> oh, okay. That's what you want to do today, is it? Well, maybe if we get some time, we can. We have to pack first, don't we? Good morning. Happy say good morning. Say good morning. Oh, Happy Tuesday, angels. Today is now Tuesday. A couple of days have gone past since we last hashtag vlogged. And if you don't see the most important changes about your gal, she's had her hair done. So she's feeling a bit flaky right now. Also, she said her nails done because they were a nightmare for about three weeks. Legit. Listen, guys, it's two days until we move. And looking at our house, you literally would not think that what so ever officially booked the removals company yesterday and um we're paying for a service where they basically come and pack up your entire house because i'm in london tomorrow annoyingly i don't really have a choice but yeah i have to be in london tomorrow which is one day before we move which is kind of stressful and i didn't want to put connor under the stress of you know having to pack the entire house um on his own so that's tomorrow but today we are going to try and get through as much as possible you know stuff that the removal we don't really want the removals company having to do you know like going through our clothes and our personal belongings and stuff so um that's the plan today so we're having a strictly no makeup day also we have a viewing today at 11 a.m for this house the new tenants for this house which feels so weird to say i can't believe somebody else is going to be living here after me sorry how is my living room gonna look i don't like that we're, we're just on to bigger and better things right though herb you know seasons come seasons go um yeah they're coming to have a look at the house again today at 11 so we're kind of like trying to pack everything up whilst trying to make the house look as nice and as pretty as possible we're gonna bring eugene upstairs you love eugene don't you look okay so yeah comfy clothes on yes herbie he's coming up come on oh you want to carry him go on then all right i'll help come on Joint effort, guys. Looking quite tidy up here. Hello, Con. 
Good morning, my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. Oh my god. Connor's in a very happy mood today because I had a great idea. Connor gets a bit overwhelmed with everything. Um, including trying to declutter his wardrobe. I've literally been trying to get him to declutter his wardrobe basically ever since we moved into this house. Actually, have you what, have you even ever done it? I have a couple of times, but I no, end not. up throwing away one thing. Do you know why I get overwhelmed? Why? It's because when I have so much, so many things to do, I just can't process the correct order and to do them properly, so I need to write them down. And if I don't write them down and write to do yeah, them, yeah, I, I get just... that. But you just never really write your to do list, exactly. do you? So well, you always... never include decluttering a wardrobe. So on I'm there. just always overwhelmed. Yeah. So I came up with a really great idea to make sure that Connor would pack his clothes today. And do you want to tell them what the system is going to be, Boo? So Eddie takes the item out of. My the wardrobe, wardrobe or the drawer. Hands it to me and then I decide keep, donate, donate or put, put summer, in a box for yeah, summer. For summer clothing. Or Jordan Carter. Or Jordan Carter. Jordan Carter pile. So if Jordan, Jordan has this, a lot of your clothes. Come over and get your bloody clothes mate. Yeah, because we've got about ten hundred for you. So um let's show you how the wardrobe room is currently looking. Oh my god, I literally can't even cope. Wow. Okay, here we go. So we're actually using all of these cardboard boxes left over from the launch. Um, so that was very handy. But yeah, I literally can't even really step about in here. And this is my outfit of the day today. We are very much in comfy clothes today. This is Christmas collection sneak peek number one. Information coming very soon. Also, okay, before we start getting with packing and time lapses, look how cute it actually is today it's so frosty oh do you know what i am gonna miss this office so much i really am look how christmasy it looks today everybody it looks so festive so frosty i love the colors in the sky it's just a vibe i saw everybody going out to work this morning having to like de-ice their cars and it was just a christmas vibe you know ready to start this is the yeah. jordan carter pile starting already he's got two tops and we're about two minutes in and um we've got about a million to go so wish me luck <laughs> We seem to have hit a bit of a midday slump with our packing. What time is it actually? Oh, Connor's supposed to throw punctures in the back. It is nine minutes to one. Sounds like a Okay, lunch break I feel me. like we've done really well. So we've done Connor's all of done my all of his clothes. We don't have any more big boxes left, so we can't do mine. But to be honest, mine doesn't need to be decluttered, hun, because I did it like you do it quite a often, couple of weeks ago. You just um, have to put it in a box. Yeah. So that's going to be Connor's job tomorrow for me also been through the living room look at these really cute throwbacks that we found do you want to show everybody your cupboard in a minute okay we can do that first ever so this is a cd of our first ever few songs this is basically the album that we first ever listened to i love to yeah so we used to cruise around in connor's what car was it my sax, my Citroen saxo. And we used to play that loud, didn't Back we? In the day. And we also found a couple of pictures. That was from our first ever holiday to Marrakesh. And then this was when we were both on prep. Whoa, look at us there. You go, girls. When we first ever moved into our first apartment who remembers that you were a real og if you remember when we first moved into that apartment that's it really to be honest oh no we did herbie's cupboard as well yeah i'm sorry herbie i know i nearly forgot so this cupboard is usually an absolute mess but we've just been through and decluttered it so we just have the hoovers in here now 
um, Herbie's bits, his comb from when he had his surgery, and then loads of bits in there from when he was a baby. We've got his first ever little bed, that's that black thing. A dinosaur from his first ever birthday cake in the summer. Um, and then there's just loads of bits in that little dog basket. First ever collar, your first lead. Mummy keeps works. for you. You gotta do your makeup. I've done that. Oh, I do my office. Oh my god, yes, you do need to do your office. I don't even want to show. Do you know what? I'm actually going to show the angels because it's going to be oh, motivation just to stay off, never let it get this messy again. Honest angels, it. It's absolutely disgusting. It was about three weeks ago when we found out we were, was probably like a month and a half ago we found out we were actually moving. Mm. No, this office is done now. It's yeah, but can It's just been piling. Can up, I piling just say no? Piling. That's not even the reason. The reason why it's so messy is because it's the one room in the house I refuse to clean because it's no, Connor's room. You just throw everything in there. No, That's actually, how have. have you made it look this much tidier? Oh wait, it was me because I was panicking cleaning when the people came around for the viewers because I was like, Connor, have you cleaned your office? And he was like, No. So this is Connor's office. There's just so much paperwork. This is just all a load of like, I don't even know. Con, you've got to sort all your computers out and stuff. Sorry, I know. Oh, he's getting overwhelmed. Sorry. Get me to do this. Wanna sit down and watch The Crown now, don't we, Herbie? We started The Crown last night. I'm literally loving it, guys. I don't know why you lot didn't get me on this hype earlier. I'm history is something that really interests me. And funny enough, Angels, I hate history. Should we give Angels the update on Herbie's little growth? Well, there isn't an update. Oh, exactly. Is there? The fact that it's absolutely fine. He's going to live did. forever. <laughs> we did He's going to live forever. Herbie, how's your little wart that we found when we first returned from America? And mum did like a, a breakdown. It's, all, it's pretty much just a dried scab now. Yeah. He doesn't care about it whatsoever, do sweetheart? No. He's like unbothered. But yeah, it's just like a little scab on the back. We're just waiting it to fall off, aren't we? But we had some samples done and it's all fine. It's not a scary lump. Just a little friend, didn't it? Just her? chose to grow a wart, Just didn't a you? little friend, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. The angel's a kiss. Kisses. Happy kisses. Give him a kiss. Give Go him on. kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. A full day of decluttering the entire house, ready for the movers to come and pack everything up tomorrow. It's basically over. Connor has gone to the gym, is gonna stop by the warehouse on the way back to pick me up some big boxes for all of my clothes so I can get that done tonight. Um, but yeah, that's like really all of the decluttering done and now we're just waiting for the movers to come in tomorrow and then to officially move the day after. So I'm a bit nervous to be honest, like like I said, I'm going to London tomorrow, which is going to be the last day in the house and the day before we move. And I know that's like a really stressful thing. So I'm just kind of trying to like mentally compartmentalise everything. And I'm just going to like try and have a fun day in London by myself. I really like spending time on my own and like going shopping on my own. Like I just find it so relaxing and I love London, especially this time of year. So um, I'm gonna be absolutely fine on his own with the movers and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow night and everything's gonna be packed and it's gonna be really weird. And we're gonna have like 12 hours left in the house and then we move out and then move into our new house and yeah. I am actually on Thursday on moving day, going to be vlogging as I go, vlogging and editing as I go. So hopefully there will be up a video on Thursday. If not, please just bear with because obviously moving house is not easy. I'll try and get a video up for you guys ASAP. I am planning on getting up on Thursday. So just keep an eye out. But yeah, I will be documenting the whole moving day on my stories as well. So just make sure that you go over and follow me on there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like I'm just kind of trying to get back into my vlogging mode at the moment because this time of year is my favourite time of the entire year to vlog and it's so exciting doing moving vlogs. But um I just feel like I haven't vlogged in a really, really long time. And obviously I have to warm myself up for Vlogmas, honey. I appreciate that this vlog wasn't much of a moving vlog. It was more like a preparing to move vlog. But we do have a moving vlog coming in the next couple of days. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video, Angels. And thank you so much for all of the love on the Empty House Tour. Honestly, I feel so lucky to have you guys as my friends. Um, and as my audience, you really are the best people in the entire world to have supporting me through every single stage of my life. And I just want to say... I love you and I appreciate you more than you know and 
I am so excited to share this next chapter of our life with you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video, Angels, and I will see you in the next one, which is going to be a very exciting one because it's moving day. Love you. Bye.